अल्लाम दोस्तों वेलकम है आपके मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल पैपिंग नॉलेज में टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एयर ग्लोइंग मेथड स्टेटमेंट की पॉइंट स्पेशली दैट द एयर ग्लोइंग सिस्टम वेन एवर यू गो फॉर द हाइड्रो टेस्ट दैट एयर ग्लोइंग इज द टू टाइम्स बिफोर द हाइड्रो टेस्ट एंड आफ्टर द हाइड्रो टेस्ट तो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आफ्टर हाइड्रो टेस्ट एयर ग्लोइंग दैट हैव मीन्स टू नीड टू लाइन द ड्राई द लाइन एंड बाई एयर एयर इंटरनली टू बी क्लीन इंटरनली क्लीन मीन्स दैट एयर इज ड्राई ऑयल फ्री कंप्रेस्ड एयर मतलब यू हैव ए कंप्रेसर दैट कंप्रेसर गिव यू द ड्राई ऑयल फ्री कंप्रेस्ड एयर दैट कंप्रेस्ड एयर द क्लीन द पाइपिंग इन द इंटरनली इन द पाइपिंग सिस्टम ड्यूरिंग द हाइड्रो टेस्ट और ड्यूरिंग द एरेक्शन एंड इंस्टॉलेशन हैव ए सम डस्ट पार्टिकल और एनी थिंग अवेलेबल इन साइड द पाइप contamination or coded item that are completely removed by the compressed air so now introduction of the air blowing means have a basic some points i need to be explained related to this point have a total 10 point you already see on the display that 10 point today i will go to explain by one by one introduction of air blowing means air blowing is conducted on the post hydro testing means whenever you go for the testing or the integrity testing means line hydro test or pneumatic testing basically hydro test then after hydro test your line is need to be drained and dry and then after dry you need to be internally clean by the oil free compressed air that means the after the air blowing that means your line is completely clean no any debris item no any contamination no any external material anything like a dust particle like a stone particles and that kind of things during the construction you have a chances to put anything or by mistake or by anything by the dust particle because you have not preserved properly on the pipe piping during the erection before the erection your spool not preserved very well so that's why dust particle going inside so need to do air blowing after the hydro test purpose of this air blowing that purpose means ensure the cleanness of the piping system for a smooth operation during the operation you need to inject some fuel or anything of the line operational condition that operational condition need to be your line is 100% clean now this air blowing some scope that scope means applicable for the metallic piping means that air blowing can do only for the metallic piping like cs carbon ss or alloy steel or ltcs कार्बन कार्बन स्टील एज स्टेनलेस स्टील फोकस ऑन न्यूली कंस्ट्रक्टेड पाइपिंग जो स्कोप है इसका वो डैट मीन्स ओनली न्यूली कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्टिंग पाइपिंग में वेन एवर यू गो फॉर द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ द पाइप और कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द पाइपिंग सिस्टम यू नीड एनी थिंग दैट ड्यूरिंग वन आवर और सिक्स मंथ यू टेकिंग अ टाइम फॉर द इंस्टॉलेशन और कंस्ट्रक्शन दैट मीन्स यू पाइप इंटरनली डटी बाई द डस्ट और कंटामिनेट्स सो नीड टू बी फ्योर ऑपरेशनल व्यू यू नीड टू बी क्लीन बाय द कंप्रेस्ड एयर For newly constructed piping system at site location, you know the site location is very dusty. Uh, dust particles available on site because the same time is construction activity or the civil activity and electrical or mechanical. That that's why you have it to internally like dirts and going inside the pipe. Okay. Now for the air blowing purpose, you want to do the air blowing. Some major equipment uses use oil free compressor. Oil free compressor is mandatory in the oil and gas piping system. Have a capacity five to seven bar capacity. Essential tools, yani ko hose, hand tools, lifting gear, and the torque wrench and a fire extinguisher. That is the basic uh, uh, essential tools. Fire extinguisher because of safety. Torque wrench because of torquing and bolting. And the uh, hand tools means uh, some carry something or uh, hand tools means a hammer and uh, a spanner that kind of things. Valid calibration certificate of the equipment means so that that method statement have clearly defined the role of responsibility of the each of the project manager, construction manager, QA, QC inspector, HSC officer, and other staff involved. Then method statement give you the complete data who is the responsible for what uh, job and that kind of thing. When you do for the air blowing method. Method statement preparation. Now uh, that preparation have give you the, all the detail related to the defined to the role and responsibility. Okay, importance of the training for the safety procedure. But uh, whenever you go for the air blowing, now uh, that trained people and trained person only can do the air blowing. That's why need to be training before the air blowing work start or before the validation card for the air blowing. I have a um, that once that means that a particular person is a valid and trained person. 
देखो कि हेल्थ ऑन सेफ्टी मेजर्स में कंडक्ट द हजार एनालिसिस जे एच ए एंड इंश्योर द पी पी ईज यूजेज विच पी पी ईज इज यूजिंग ड्यूरिंग द एयर ब्लोइंग मैंडेटरी फॉर द एयर प्लग एंड दैट कैंड ऑफ थिंग सेटअप एंड बैरिकेड द सेफ्टी साइन ऑफ द एयर ब्लोइंग एरिया बैरिकेड द सेफ्टी साइन अकॉर्डिंग टू द करंट प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम वेयर द एयर ब्लोइंग विच ए लाइन यू वॉन्ट टू डू एयर ब्लोइंग फ्रॉम डेट लाइन टू टेन मीटर नीड टू गो बैरिकेशन विथ शाइन बोर्ड ओके असाइन सेफ्टी वॉचमैन डूइंग द प्रोसेस आई नीड टू बी वन सेफ्टी वॉचमैन रेगुलर इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ द टूल एंड सेफ्टी इज इंपॉर्टेंट सेफ्टी इक्विपमेंट में दैट इक्विपमेंट एंड टूल्स नीड टू बी रेगुलरली इंस्पेक्ट ओके नाउ डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू डू द मैथोलॉजी वर्क मैथोलॉजी हाउ टू डू द एयर ग्लोइंग प्रिपरेशन फर्स्ट आफ्टर दैट एयर ग्लोइंग मैथड टर्न टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रिपरेशन मीन्स आइडेंटिफाई द एयर ग्लोइंग रूट सेटअप ऑन द सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू वॉन्ट विच लाइन यू वॉन्ट टू डू द एयर ग्लोइंग दैट वन यू नीड टू बी आइडेंटिफाई मार्क एयर सप्लाई डिस्चार्ज पॉइंट एंड वॉल पोजिशन एंड टेम्पोरी फिटिंग वेन यू गो फॉर द एयर ग्लोइंग ना दैट मैन यू नीड टू बी टेक पी एन आई डी एंड देन मार्क विच एरिया यू वॉन्ट टू डू इनलेट विच एरिया आउटलेट वेयर द वॉल फैसिलिटी वेयर इज द पी ए वेयर इज द प्रेसर गेज वेयर यू कैन सी हाउ मच प्रेसर ओके एयर ग्लोइंग मैथड एयर ब्लोइंग मैथड मीन्स कंटिन्यूस एयर ब्लोइंग मतलब टू और थ्री टाइप्स एयर ब्लोइंग कंटिन्यूस एयर ब्लोइंग एंड Quick depression method, quick depression method and uh, air blowing continuous air blowing. There are two type of air blowing method: continuous air blowing and quick depression method. So continuous air blowing means is directly air come for directly direct air from the compressor to the system and suitable for the smaller pipe. Means so they have no any valve directly put the compressor hose and internally clean by the continuous air blowing, continuous air blowing and quick. Uh, decompression method quick decompression decompression method means facility removal that debris by rapid pressure release rapid pressure release means you need to install one valve or some sheets of the cardboard sheets of the plastic wrapper for the with the help of a ring and then you need to do whenever your line is going to pressurize and four bar and 3.5 open the valve that means is quick decompression that means your debris is coming out from the by the force internally you have a force on the four bar that means uh, air quick depression okay now i'm talking about procedure overview ensure all the permanent installation of the protect before starting permanent installation means like valve like uh, esdv like your permanent valve and uh, your control valves that kind of thing you need to remove like orifice plate that kind of thing not install before the air blowing monitor pressure during the blowing method that have a pressure gauge need to be installed and continue monitor uh, prevent the over pressurizing you have to manage how to prevent the pressurize over pressurizing use pressure gauge to track the system pressure means uh, your pressure gauge you identify the how much pressure inside the line maximum air blowing pressure is 3.5 to 4 bar cleanliness acceptance criteria when you go for the air blowing means after few time maybe five or six time you can do air blowing after that what is the cleanliness acceptance criteria cleanliness acceptance criteria means visually inspector of the foreign metal when you complete the air blowing visually can check by the internally of the pipe that means have a visual inspection of the foreign material if any material debris material inside the pipe that means is line not completed if the air blowing is not completed okay whenever you go for the quick uh, depression method or um, blasting method that kind of one sheet available in front of where the blasting that sheet white paper sheet in the air coming and touch this uh, sheet that means if the sheet white paper test for the ensure no particle are present in that sheet have no any damage point that means inside the line coming only air no any dust particle or no any stone particle available paper test to ensure the no particles are present inside the line that means is line is completely clean and that line is accepted air blowing now the after the air blowing reestatement process reestatements for any component removed from before the air blowing that means need to be installed like control valve strainer that kind of thing need to remove before the air blowing and then after air blowing completion you need to reinstall okay documentation which type of documentation you require documentation means maintain your comprehensive record all the procedure for the inspection 
ensure all the necessary uh, permit and approval for the show before coming uh, before activity is start uh, permit means you need to do here in this current scenario in the 24 hour before you need to do uh, air blowing notification then which area you doing air blowing from that area to 10 meter nobody coming inside and then you do the mark uh, hard barric uh, barrication with sign board then after that you can also you can do the key important details whenever you go for the any air blowing must be you have air blowing procedure air blowing method statement air blowing jha and then you have air blowing permit then only for you can perform the air blowing okay thank you so if you like then share and subscribe stay safe stay healthy